welcome to my my tutorial in this tutorial we will be learning about how to create a full height and full width row in the visual composer with a background video player either you can use youtube link or you can use any other link or you can use any other website link, video link in visual composer click on add element i'll be activating uh, this with the help of two elements i'll select text block and one i'll select the video player First of all, I'll, I'll add uh, text block. This is my text block, and here I'll write my channel name. Now I'll enlarge this. I'll select the heading of this. Uh, I'll go for H5. Click on save. Here I'll add one more section, click on row, click on video player. If I'll use uh, video, uh, you can come to know what is the difference between this background video and what is the difference between the adding a video in the visual composer. Here we have one link already inbuilt Vimeo link. But I have selected two videos for you guys from YouTube. Uh, just copy the link. You can use your own video link and paste this here. Uh, you can write the title of uh, that player. I'm be I'll be writing YouTube video. I want the width to be hundred percent. You can select any of the aspect ratio. What is the aspect ratio? This is the height to the width ratio. I want the alignment to be uh, in center. How your video to be in center? Uh, you can select the CSS if you want. Uh, I'll I'll click on save. I'll click on update. Now I'll click on review. Here is the text that I have added and here is my title and here is the video that I have given to you. Here, once you click on this, there is a video player, here is my video title, the YouTube video and once you click on this, it will play. But it's not according to full width. I recommend, we are recommend is full width and a full height. Here also we want a background video in this. So go back, go to row option, click on this, click on uh, stretch row and contain, no padding. I don't want any padding from the uh, sides. If you want a bit of padding, uh, 5 pixel or 10 pixel, you can uh, go for a stretch row and the contain. I'm going for no padding. Uh, how you want your height to be? I want the height to be full. Click on yes. How you want your content to be? I want my content to be in the middle. How you, uh, equal height? Yes, I want it to be equal height. Content position it to be in middle. Use a video background. Yes, I want a video background. I have my own link. I have selected another video for you. Click on copy. Paste here. Uh, click on save more. Click on save. Now, for this also, same thing we'll do. Row stretch, full row. I don't want full height to be for this because th there's like it will be a heading and uh, it may be a um, slider for you guys. You can even uh, assume that is our slider, a video slider. I don't need a background video because it's already a video. I don't. Uh, okay, I'll create a parallax now. Click on save. Click on update. Go back. Refresh this page. As you can see, the big video is there with a complete height. See, the height is full and the width is full. This is my uh, content. It is in the middle.
now this is my first option now when we come to this click on this that video is playing and one thing is missing is is the parallax effect there's no parallax effect in this it's moving normally now go back click on this row option click on parallax effect which is simple I want it to be simple parallax effect click on save here also you can go go to parallax effect yes I want it to be simple click on update you can go and refresh this now you can see there is a big difference between these two when, uh, when I was like using a parallax effect and when I was not using the parallax effect Thank you guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubt or comment or question, please put below. I'll try my best to answer all those questions. Thank you.